welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to bring you something that is comforting, um, comfort food during this quarantine time. You all know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say the name because YouTube was flagging videos, but um, we all need something comforting to eat right now um, while we're isolating in the house. And this is an easy um, beef stew recipe. So, um, I'm using what I have on hand. You can as well, but these are items that you may have in your pantry, and if not, you may be able to get. So, um, let's just get started and go over the ingredients. Um, you're going to need some cubed beef that I have here. Um, I'm using um, one packet of the beef, onion, and soup mix. That gives you all the seasoning you need. I've also used the McCormick seasoning packet. That's good as well. I'm going to use some beef broth, um, onion, uh, potatoes, carrots, and corn. As far as the seasoning that I'm going to use on the beef, um, I really like this um, rosemary garlic seasoning. Um, I use it universally on all types in all types of dishes, but if you don't have it, just use what you what you have on hand. But I really like this salt. I'm sorry, pepper, salt garlic and onion powder so those are the ingredients this is an easy beef stew recipe that packs a lot of flavor and um so let's just get started and get to cooking okay so you want to um wash and dry your beef and these are already in cubes but i like smaller pieces um that's just my preference so i also i cut them up into smaller chunks and some are already small so some i may leave but most of them I cut up, so I'm just going to cut this up, and then we're going to season it, and we're going to dust it with a little bit of flour, and get to searing our beef. Um, that's what I uh, meant to mention on the list of ingredients. You will need a little bit of flour. Okay, so now that um, I have it chopped up in small cubes, I'm going to go ahead and season. I'm going to use a little bit of salt. I'm not going to. I'm going to go very light with this because there is salt in that. Um, beef onion soup mix so just a little um, pepper um, onion powder garlic powder and the rosemary garlic seasoning. So I'm just gonna mix that up really well to get it coated on all sides. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly dust it with flour. You don't want too much because you don't want your, your broth to get too thick, but you want enough to that this is going to help thicken your, um, your um, broth. So you definitely don't want to skip this step in dusting your beef with the flour. Okay, so that looks good. So now we're going to move on to the next step and just get this in a pan of um, a pan with olive oil, any olive oil of your choice, and we're going to sear it. Okay, so now that your oil, the oil is hot, I'm going to add in the beef. And I try to do this in one layer because the goal here is to get a good sear on the, on the um, beef. So you don't want to crowd the pan or have it, you know, overlapping. So just do the best that you can with this. And as long as you have a high temperature, you'll get a good sear on your beef. Okay. So while that is searing, I'm going to um, cut up the onion. So now that the beef has gotten some good color on it, I'm going to add in the onion. I just like to cook it for just a few minutes 
until the onion gets a little soft and then we'll be adding our um, broth and seasoning in the next step so this needs to cook for a couple of minutes just until the onions are soft Okay, so what I've done here is I've mixed two cups of beef broth, one cup of water in the um, beef onion soup mix, a pack of that all together. And this is the amount of liquid I always start out with. If we need more liquid, you can always add more beef stock or water. Um, but you want to start off with this and then taste and see how thick your um, broth becomes. So now I'm just going to add it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to let this simmer for 45 minutes. So while it's simmering for 45 minutes, you can cut up your potatoes, have those ready to go. Um, but you're going to cover it and simmer it for 45 minutes and then we'll come back to it. So I like to buy these um, small potatoes because there's no need to peel these. Um, I just cut them up. Um, into smaller chunks and add them right to the stew. So um, that'll that's a lifesaver. If you get the bigger potatoes, um, you are going to probably need to peel those. So just keep that in mind. So I added um, another cup of water to this. So that's two cups of stock and two cups of water. Um, all of the measurement and and ingredients will be in the description box so it has simmered for about 45 minutes and now I'm going to add the potatoes now I like a lot of potatoes so you can add as much as you want or as little as you want um, but this is a good amount for me so now that the potatoes are added I am going to let this simmer for 40 minutes and after 40 minutes I'm going to add the corn and the um, carrots and simmer for an additional 20 minutes so basically this is will be ready in another hour so I am going to cover it and let it simmer for 40 minutes so this has been simmering for about 40 minutes and the, the flavors have developed beautifully so now we're going to add in the carrots now you can use um, fresh carrots if you do that you're going to want to add them at the same time you add the potatoes but this is quarantine cooking and canned carrots are you know at this time just I think a staple to have and easy to come by and I love it with the canned carrots so if you're using canned carrots this is when you would add them at this stage along with the can of corn I'm just going to mix that in and then um, this is going to cook for about 20 more minutes and after that it'll be ready to serve. Oh. Cover and let simmer for about 20 more minutes. So it is all done. Um, it is very flavorful. The broth is just it's simmered for a long time and developed those flavors. I like to serve mine with a biscuit. Um, you can serve it with cornbread or not anything at all because it is very hearty. But I like to dip my biscuit into the broth and it's so delicious. Um, so I hope you enjoy making this meal. I want to thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time watching, please um, consider joining my family and like um, and subscribe. And I look forward to bringing you my next video.